Hi, this is Sean. In this video, I'm going to go over building an octopus for a class project. So I'm going to start out by making a quick cylinder and giving that cylinder 16 subdivisions because an octopus has eight legs and we want a space between each leg. And I'm going to give it some subdivisions on the height five and five on the caps. I'm going to round off the caps by turning that on. And then I'm going to delete some of these vertices on the bottom here. And we will just extrude in that lower edge and make it so shift right click extrude edge and we'll just use this as I'm going to hit G to repeat this will be the mouth cavity we could even give it some teeth really quickly if we wanted to so shift right click insert edge loop <clears throat> I'm going to uh, select these faces probably on the inside here even better and make some quick teeth so then I'm going to use the poke face so shift right click poke face and then we'll go in and grab those vertices and just scale them out towards the middle And so, and you can even, um, so I'm going to pull that down. And you can even save that. So in the future, if you like want it to open its mouth, you could um, save that as a selection set. Um, under create sets, quick selection set. Teeth. So there we go. Quickly delete history, Alt, Shift, D. And oops, looks like we got a bonus face poke here. So we'll convert that to edges and just delete those. Oh, there we are, we're back in business. So now I'm going to rotate this cube because um, I want to extrude right along one of these lines here. And so um, generally, um, this is 16 uh, faces around. So uh, if it was 8, that would be 22 and a half degrees. So 16 would be 11.25 degrees. So now we're rotated right on that edge. So I'm going to extrude this face. I'm going to offset it 10 units. Uh, uh, 10 divisions and thickness of 10 so 10 units so great let's um, we can tear off this object as a <clears throat> piece of geometry could go in and do the same thing with this extracting faces and so from here you can build a modular uh, sucker arm and then um, just so I'm gonna get rid of those and so now we've got this let's extrude those extrude this face inward we need to pull it out just a little bit and now I'm going to just extrude the faces on the sides. All right. And so you can see that's starting to look like um, it's starting to get there in terms of being a sucker.
let's just do the offset 0.05 and then extrude that in and probably an offset there okay so now it's looking if we smooth that you can sort of get the sense that those could be um, suckers if they were a um, Well, at any rate, we'll let that, without tweaking it too much, since this is for the video anyways. But if I had more time, I would probably clean this up. So now if we're gonna build this modularly, um, since we know we built this 10 units across, let's delete the history. Um, uh, let's also um, just center the pivot, probably doesn't matter, and then let's, um, so see we move it in the uh, Z direction, um, we can then go duplicate special in the um, Z direction, and we need nine of them and we don't want any rotation and we hit apply and now we've got all those suckers applied and now we're going to just attach that all <clears throat> combine all these pieces don't need that to combine so we'll go down here shift right click combine and then we'll go to the vertices and we'll just tell those vertices to merge and then there's a merge threshold if you need to adjust it, but really we shouldn't need to adjust it much because the vertices that should merge should just have merged. So, um, so without any merge threshold, we've got 441, you can see up here, but with even just a slight threshold, we get 404. Um, and you can also sort of diagnose your merge threshold. So we've got the beginning of an octopus arm. Um, I would also, I'm gonna delete the history, I would also say we'd want this to taper. <clears throat> and probably a quick way to do that also would be to go into the animation parameters and um, use a nonlinear flare de deformer and we'll just rotate this into place and we'll flare the ends great and then once again delete history so where that's all set and baked in and now i'm going to select every other face here um just just go probably manually do it Delete that, we'll select this object. Um, its pivot point is centered. So let's just do a duplicate special. And we want it to, um, <clears throat> well, we only want seven more than we have. That'll make eight arms. We don't need to translate it and we want to rotate it around the Y axis 45 degrees. And so there we go. And we've got those, let's combine this. And then we can do the same thing where we've merged some vertices. So uh, merge vertices, and we've got the threshold 0.1, so 11.04, and there we go. So we should be good to go. Another way to check to see if you've got um, unwelded vertices is to go in the display options and turn on your um, your border edges so I've got that set to two display polygons border edges and so if we had some unwelded vertices or some broken let's just break a vertice just to show the example um, split vertex, you would see thicker lines. So I'm going to undo that. So in just looking around here, I don't see any thick lines. So um, we're pretty much ready.
Um, I probably will um, just quickly <clears throat> modify this a little bit. Maybe I'll add an eye and or two and tweak it to make it look a little more like an octopus. But that's the basic gist of it. Thanks so much for watching.